Hey guys, uh, I'm always doing videos and I'm telling you how important it is to train a dog and how worth it it is. Well, today I'm going to show you that it is extremely worth it. I have my two girls here who are very well trained and then I have Abby who has had no formal training at all and as you can see, I'm just trying to sit and talk and she's just really up in my face and uh, it's a little bit wild so I'm just going to give a couple examples and talk a little bit how it is definitely worth it to take five minutes a day to work and train ouch with your dog. So a great example of a well-behaved dog is a dog that knows how to do something. Let's say you're at the vet and the dog needs to get on the exam table. I mean, if it's a little dog, no problem, pick it up. If it's a big dog, well, it's gonna be a little bit much. So you need them on the table. Uh, you need them to get into the bathtub. I'm sure I've done it before my dogs were trained. All of us have had those moments where we're like trying to shove our dog into the bathtub and they're resisting and we're tired and we've got to pick them up and our back hurts, if you're like me. Um, so now that my dogs know how, we go to the vet and I just get up and I don't have to do like a whole teamwork where we're both doing it. When it's time for bath time, maybe they don't want to, but they are obedient and they are good girls because we have worked with them and they trust me. So they will do whatever I ask. Right girls? So Abby here is not trained, so I'm going to have her jump up on this stool. Abby, get up here. Abby, up. Abby. You want your toy? Get up here. Get up. Come on. Get up here. Huh? Huh? Courage. Courage, come. Courage, up. Good girl, huh? It was a bit wobbly, but she is a good girl, and she, she trusts me. Okay. Justice, up. Justice, up. Good girl. I'll take it, huh? There's another dog in your way. Release. Oh, good girl, Abby. Huh? See, look, she's just watching and learning and seeing that this is how she gets here. So that is a really good example. Um, just having her around even uh, helps, helps train her. So right there, that's a small example, but how handy is that to be able just to tell your dog to get up and they will. Leave it. Leave it, Abby. Leave it, Abby. Abby, leave it. No. Abby, good girl. That. Come. Come. No. Sit down. Courage just, just to sit. Abby, leave it. Good girl. That. Abby, leave it. Leave it. No. Well, you see how well that worked? She does know what no means and she does know what leave it means, but there has been no repetition. She doesn't really care what I think because she doesn't respect me very much. So that is a prime example of me telling dogs to leave it because I can tell you right now that out of all the dogs, Courage loves this most, don't you girl? Huh, Courage? Huh? You ready? You ready? Go get it. Oh yeah, huh? Come on. Good girl. Sit. Leave it. Leave it. Nope, doesn't work. Abby, leave it. Good girl. So you see how whenever I come over here and I'm, Justice, shame on you. And I'm telling them to leave it. Abby doesn't really do anything until I'm like up in her face and she's like, oh shoot, better get away before I get in trouble. That's not really a well-trained or well-behaved dog. It's just a dog who doesn't want to deal with the consequence of me getting upset. So right now the person recording this has that squeaky toy that they love so much so that I can do a good example of come. A dog that truly understands what come means. Whether a squirrel's running by or a rabbit or another dog or you're unloading groceries and your dog jumps out of the car to go say hi to the neighbor walking by, you can tell them to come because they have no business getting into the road or saying hi to people on the street. So um, I'm going to do it right now. They're really excited about the toy. I'm going to start with Justice because she is a little more independent dog. So we're just going to give this a go. Justice. Justice. Come. Good girl. Huh? Are you a good puppy? I know you want that toy, don't you? Huh? Sit down. Wait. So she's still looking over there. She knows it's there. Courage. Come. Good girl. Ah, stay here. <laughs> Abby. Abby, come. Come on. Abby. Abby. Now you just want that toy. Abby. Come on, Abby. Come on, Abby. Good girl! 
Oh, no, okay, so it didn't stay. So that's kind of a good example. She did finally come after a lot of coaxing, but uh, if that was a situation where they were chasing a rabbit or jumping on your elderly neighbor, the person would have been down on the ground and the dog would have been half a mile down the road after this rabbit who's three times as fast as they are. So these are good girls. These are dogs that are well-trained. It is so, so worth it. It can save your life. It can save their life. Abby is a good girl. She just does not know it yet. We are slowly but surely getting there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do offer personal training courses. You can send me an email or you can message us through Facebook. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>